Hi, this is Sean. Welcome to GuitarReferenceGuide.com. In this lesson, I'm going to take you through the guitar solo for the song Simple Man by Leonard Skinner. I break it down into a series of 14 different licks slash phrases. Some of the phrases have three or four licks that are linked together. Kind of hard to break them up, so I put them all together in a phrase. The song is in the key of C major pentatonic, so getting familiar with your pentatonic scale and all the different positions would be a great idea. Go to guitarreferenceguide.com. Under the scales tab, you'll see the pentatonic scales. Go to A minor slash C major. If you go to guitarreferenceguide.com, also you will find a tab for the song. I will post a tab for the song. Um, I'm playing it a little different than the tab that I have. I watched him play it, and I noticed that he was doing a couple different things from the tab, but they're all the same notes. So you can use what I'm doing, or you can refer to the tab, and they're going to be the same licks, just in some different places in the neck. Another thing, the guitar, he's tuned down a half step. So to play along with the recording, you're going to want to tune your guitar down a half step. I'm tuned to standard tuning. So that being said, if you like what you see in this video, please subscribe, click the button below, check me out on Facebook, and let's get started. Hope you have a great day. Lick number one. Play it and break it down. The pickup. So we start with A minor pentatonic scale, fifth fret, seventh fret on the G string. Then you're going to play the seventh fret and the eighth fret at the same time, but you're going to bend up the seventh fret a whole step. And you're going to give it a little wiggle when you get to the top, so you're going to give it some vibrato. Now this is two guitars, so I'm consolidating both parts to get this happening. But if, you, if you're having a hard time with that, you could also just do this. Then we're going to bend up a whole step, release and pull off. So keeping our pinky down, we're bending up a whole step, releasing, and pulling that finger off. That's one pluck. Then we come back to the seventh fret with our third finger, and we shake both strings. Now will be lick number one. Lick number two is going to build on lick number one and do almost the same thing, but we're just going to do this for lick number two. Number two, same same kind of lick. You're bending this up a whole step. Release, pull off, seventh fret, vibrato. So lick number one. Lick number two. Lick number three, we're going to move up to the eighth fret of the B string. And we're going to hammer to the tenth fret. We're going to play the tenth fret again. Then we're going to play the 10th fret of the, or the 8th fret of the high E string, then back to the 10th fret of the B string. And that'll be lick number three. So we have. Lick number four, we're going to move up to the 13th fret of the B string. And here we're going to play, uh, I'm going to play and then break it down. And then uh, we're going to play the high E string. So here we have. Okay, so for this lick we're playing 13, 15, then we're keeping our, keeping our pinky on the 15th fret of the high string, we're playing these simultaneously. We're bending this up a whole step, then we're playing the high E string, then we're playing the note that's bent up, we're releasing it, pulling it off, and then playing these two notes together. And then giving both of these vibrato. And that'll be lick number four. Lick number five. So lick number five, we're bending up a whole step on the 15th fret. 
to 13, 14, now 15, we bend this up a whole step. So if we put licks four and five together, we'd have Lick number six. I'll play it and then break it down. This is one of the harder licks in, uh, in the songs. Lick number six. So really slow. We have 17, 17, 20. 20, we bend up a half step, but it's a pre-bend. And that's how you test it. You move up one fret. So you move up a half step, a whole step, then one more step, and you bend up to that. And that would be um, two full steps. And then we come back down to 20 and we bend up a half step. Gradual bend. Then back to 17 on the high E. 17 and then 20, bend up a whole step and give a vibrato at the top. So we have now it'd be lick number six. Lick number seven, building off of lick number six, 20th fret, bend up a whole step, release and pull off to 17. Now be lick number seven. Lick number eight is gonna be actually more of like a phrase. You're gonna have a group of licks together. So we'll say phrase number eight. There we go. So here we slide to the 19th fret of the G string, 15th, uh, 17th fret of the high E string, 20th fret, bend up a whole step, slide. Now we slide to the, from the, to the 18th fret, back to the 17th fret, 20th fret, up a whole step, back to the 19th fret this time, 17, 20, we bend up a whole step, then to the 19th fret we bend up a whole step, Back to 17, high E 17 B string, and now we bend up a whole step on 20. So phrase number eight has a group of licks, three different licks, would have. Lick number nine. Once again, this is more like a group of licks. This would be like three licks. So we'll call it phrase nine. Okay, so for this one, we're playing open G, fifth fret, seventh fret. Now we do a pre-bend a whole step, release, and push it back up with some vibrato. Then the 8th fret with our pinky. Now we release the 7th fret. Pull off. Now we bend up a whole step and release and give it vibrato. And that would be phrase number 9. Phrase number 10. For this phrase, we're basically going to play the seventh fret, bend up a whole step. This is number ten. Fifth fret, eighth fret, pre bend up a whole step, and we give it vibrato at the top. That would be lick number ten. Lick number eleven, I'll play through and then break it, break it down.
So look number 11, we slide from the 2nd fret all the way to the 7th fret. 5th fret, now we slide from, five, from 7 to 9. Now we slide from 9 to 12. Now from 12 to 14. 13, 15, and then up a whole step with vibrato. So real slow. And that would be lick number 11. Lick number 12, we're gonna slide into the 12th fret, then we play the 15th fret, then we bend up and release. So it's on. So this will be, uh, let me see here, lick number 12. So the 12th fret, 15th fret, bend up a whole step and release. Look number 13. Okay, we start with our pinky at the 15th fret of the high E string. 15th fret of the B string, we're gonna bend up a whole step. Release, pull off to 13. And then to the 15th fret, a whole step bend. And then vibrato at the top. So one more time, lick 13. Lick number 14. So we start at the fifth fret of the high E string. And then we go to the seventh fret of the G string. We bend up a whole step. Release, pull off. And then to the seventh fret of the D string with vibrato. And that would be lick number 14. Now I'm going to play through the whole solo, one lick at a time, and I'm going to call out the lick as I play it. Lick number one. Lick number two. Lick number three. Lick number four. Lick number five. Lick number six. Lick number seven. Lick number eight or phrase number eight. Lick number nine. Lick number ten. Lick number eleven. Lick number twelve. Uh. Lick number 13. Lick number 14. And those will be all the licks for Simple Man. Hope you liked the lesson. Please visit us again at guitarreferenceguide.com.